Today's topic is superior vena cava syndrome, or SVCS. Superior vena cava syndrome is a group of symptoms caused by narrowing or blockage of the superior vena cava, which is the second largest vein in the body. The superior vena cava is a large vein located in the upper chest, which collects and carries deoxygenated blood from the head and upper body, including the neck, upper chest, and arms to the right atrium of the heart. When the supervena cava is blocked, blood flow to the heart is restricted, causing more pressure in the veins and the face. Superior vena cava syndrome is very uncommon in children, but if it does happen, it is usually a medical emergency because their windpipe or trachea may be blocked so they can't breathe. Causes The most common cause is cancer or tumor in the chest close to the superior vena cava or surrounding lymph nodes. The most common cancer that can cause the condition include lung cancer. This makes up about 75 to 80 percent of all cases. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma. This makes up about 10 to 15 percent of all cases. Less common causes include cancers that spread to the chest, such as colon cancer, breast cancer, esophageal cancer, thyroid cancer, testicular cancer. The condition can also be caused by non-cancerous conditions, including lung infections such as tuberculosis, thrombophlebitis or inflammation of a vein, a type of fungal infection called histoplasmosis, blood clots in the superior vena cava, enlargement of the thyroid gland, aortic aneurysm, radiation therapy, some immune system diseases, such as Beckett's disease. Symptoms If the obstruction to the supervena cava is not causing a total blockage, no symptoms may be experienced. If the blockage is partial, mild symptoms may be experienced. If the blockage is total, extreme symptoms may be experienced. Symptoms may include coughing, swelling of the face, neck, upper body, and arms difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, hoarseness, chest pain, coughing up blood from the lung and throat, lightheadedness, nausea, trouble swallowing, faster breathing, fluid buildup in the arms, bluish color of the lips and skin, paralyzed vocal cord, headache. Diagnosis. To make a diagnosis, the doctor will use the following diagnostic procedure chest x-ray to check for tumors in the lungs, CT scan to show blockages, MRI scan, ultrasound to look for blood clots, venography, an x-ray of the veins done after injecting a special dye that makes the veins visible. Treatment. The goal of treatment is to relieve the blockages. Many treatment options focus on addressing the underlying cause of the condition. If symptoms are due to a tumor pushing on the superior vena cava, Methods such as chemotherapy, targeted therapies, surgery, immunotherapy, or radiation therapy to treat the tumor are used. Blood thinners may be used to prevent clotting in cases of superior vena cava syndrome caused by a blood clot. To improve symptoms pending treatment, management includes keeping head elevated, giving diuretics to reduce swelling. Some doctors may also prescribe steroids to help reduce inflammation. In rare cases, surgery may be performed. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.